So when I was first getting into permaculture, I got really excited about fungi, all things mushrooms, because they're a really critical component for breaking down woody material and building soil. Uh, not to mention they can be really delicious and, um, and they're just beautiful when you come a, across a patch of mushrooms growing in the woods. There's always this feeling of like, ooh, I found a treasure. Um, and so I bought Paul Stamitz's book, which is this giant tome of a book. And in the beginning, he talks about permaculture and how he felt like his one criticism of Bill Mollison uh, was, you know, who's the founder of permaculture, that he didn't include fungus in, in his designer's manual. And so Paul drew a picture of how you could integrate uh, the mycelium, the fungus, into a permaculture system. And I got really excited. And then the rest of the book was about how to grow mushrooms indoors, you know, using lab equipment, which is, uh, you know, really great for, for running a mushroom growing business. But uh, for probably about 10 years there, I kind of put it to the wayside and started learning everything else. I have recently partnered with Sam McChesney, uh, who is known as Sam the Fungi because he's so passionate about mycelium. And, um, and we're working on all sorts of systems that integrate mycelium into the greater permaculture context. And so when we plant trees, we often mulch them. And now we have access to bulk mycelium where we can also add oyster mushrooms around the base of the tree. And so when we get a rain, you can get an extra yield in the oyster mushrooms. And that's also going to invite in the mycorrhizal fungi that join to the roots of the trees that help them to exchange nutrients. So there's a lot of exciting things we can do with fungus. Oyster mushrooms in particular also can filter water and they can help to lock up hydrocarbons or toxins produced through oil related products. Um, so oyster mushrooms are just really great to have in the environment. So we're starting to do one of the things I'm most excited about with mycelium is cardboard digesters. I know with my family, you know, ordering things, getting cardboard boxes is pretty common. And so what do we do with all this cardboard? You can do sheet mulching, but a lot of times, uh, you know, that doesn't happen and you end up getting rid of the cardboard somehow, some other way. So what we can do, cardboard is a perfect food for mycelium. And so you can create a system where you just add your cardboard, layer in mycelium, and it's going to eat the cardboard and break it down and turn it into a really high quality compost that you can just add to your garden and along the way it produces flushes of mushrooms. So those could be uh, oyster mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, uh, lion's mane mushrooms. Now those are the three that we're mainly working with right now but I think the possibilities are uh, expansive.